in this two minute ATEM video, I will show you how you can set your delay so that your audio is in sync with your video. Typically that happens if you're bringing your audio via an external mixer, like for example, the Rodecaster Pro that I have right here. Basically the reason is that audio is way easier to process for the ATEM Mini than the video of your camera itself. It's really easy to set the delay in the ATEM software, but before I do that, I need to know what my delay is. In order to do that, actually what I typically will do is that right before I go, go ahead and stream, I will just record a short session on a as external drive, which is available in the Pro, Pro ISO, Extreme, and Extreme ISO models. And I just do the clap test. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you do that, the three claps will help you to determine when the audio is and what you see. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to stop this recording and I will then go into the DaVinci Resolve uh, app and show you how you can figure out what your delay is. Okay, so here in DaVinci Resolve, I have already imported the video. And as you can see, you have the uh, video and also the audio track. And note that the claps are very easily to identify. Right here is the clap. And yeah, basically you see that it's not really in sync because I'm starting with my clap in the video. So the only thing that I need to do is press to the right a few times. So it's four frames of a difference between the audio and the video. So I have to delay it by four frames in the ATEM software control. So let's go ahead and go into the ATEM software control and set the delay to that. So in order to do that, go to the audio tab, then go to uh, the microphone one and then hit this icon right here. And then you can set the delay to four times like so. Once you have done that, you are ready to rock.